It's been over a year since the JMU football team last played a game, falling just short in the national title game against North Dakota State, but the wait for Dukes fans is finally nearing an end. JMU opens up the 2021 spring football season on Saturday, February 20th at Bridgeforth Stadium against Moorhead State. When the Dukes take the field, they will look a lot different from the team that was playing in Frisco last year. They return just seven starters and will need to replace key players like Ben DiNucci, Rondell Carter, and John Daca, to name just a few. The expectations are still high, though, as both Hero and Athlon Sports rank JMU the number four team in the FCS, and they're also the favorite to win the CAA, as they have in three of the last four years. The Dukes will enter their second season under head coach Kurt Signetti with a new starting quarterback, redshirt senior Cole Johnson, who beat out junior Gage Maloney for the starting spot. As a backup for the last four seasons, the 6'5 Johnson has appeared in 22 games and thrown for 1,099 yards and six touchdowns. He's also rushed for 113 yards and two scores. He'll lead an offense that will have a lot of new faces, but he'll have two key returners to help him out in All-Americans offensive tackle Liam Fornadell and running back Percy Ajay Obese. Ajay Obese will be the offense's top returning weapon as he was fifth in the FCS in rushing, putting up 1,216 yards and 19 touchdowns last year. He'll be running behind a line headed by Fornadell, a two-year starter and NFL hopeful. As for the defense, the Dukes return just a few starters, most notably a pair of seniors in safety Wayne Davis and defensive lineman Mike Green. Last year, Davis had 62 tackles, including 8.5 tackles for loss and 1.5 sacks. He also had two interceptions and a forced fumble. Green is the top returning player in the defensive front for the Dukes as he had seven and a half sacks and 11 tackles for loss last year. The Dukes will need big production out of some new faces this year, especially in the receiving core, where they don't return any player who had more than 30 receptions last year. New players will need to step up for the Dukes' pass rush as well, as no returning player besides Green had more than two sacks last season. JMU will play an eight-game schedule that includes non-conference home games against Moorhead State and Robert Morris before three CAA home-and-homes with Elon, William & Mary, and Richmond. For Duke Sports Center, I'm Colby Johnson.